This one is for the UFC 276 main event between the Stylebender, defending his belt, Israel Adesanya, against Jared Cannonier. Oh, what a fight this is. Now, there seems to be a general consensus that, that Adesanya is just going to be a bit too much for him. And, and I understand that. I played this fight through in my head. You know, I watched their old fights back and I played this one through and I, I kind of pull things apart and try and imagine them facing one another and then, you know, extend it over rounds as they both take start to take damage. And for the most part, I can see Israel Adesanya being on the outside, not really getting touched too much. And Jared Cannonier really struggling to, to close the distance. But if he does close the distance, that's where it gets really interesting because he's not reckless. He's very, very powerful with everything that he throws. So it's not like he's going to be, you know, wild on the inside. And I think because he used to be a heavyweight and he's, he's like moved down through the weight classes, like he still moves people around like, he, like he's a heavyweight, like he's got heavyweight strength. Like there's no wasted weight on his frame at all. Not that there is really with Izzy either, but I would say pound for pound strength wise, Jared Cannonier is going to be a, an absolute beast at close range. So obviously, Adesanya uh, has the height and reach advantage, 6'4 to 5'11, 80 inch reach compared to 77. And of course, he makes the most of that reach and height, you know, really makes his opponents feel like they're a long way away. 22 and 1 for Adesanya. Why haven't I written down Cannonier's record? Something, you can see his record because it's on the screen. I don't know why I didn't write it down. Uh, 10 TKOs on Cannonier's record, 15 on Adesanya's. The other thing that's worth remembering as well is uh, Adesanya's got a kickboxing record of 75 and 5. And I've made this point before. Of his 75 wins, he's got 29 knockouts, which is a good portion of knockouts. But it's also a lot of fights that went the distance, which is why he's so good. Because he's had rounds and rounds to, to you know refine his craft against lots of different fighters. And it's always been in the striking range because it's kickboxing. And, you know, he's one of those guys that he's, you know, he's, he's confident and he's elusive. So people are constantly trying to swing everything they've got at him. He's a very, very slick operator. This is this is why on the outside, you can imagine Jared Cannonier just getting eaten to pieces. You know, sometimes a three round fight against a particular type of opponent can be very, very different to a five round fight against somebody else. This is a title fight. He's got the world champion in front of him. It's the main event. His face is on the poster. He's, the lights are on him. I mean, there's, you know, there's a lot of things changing him for him about this fight. I feel like if he finds the confidence to put his foot on the gas and close distance, it's his best chance of coming out with the victory and with the belt he has to close distance because if he's on the outside against Adesanya he's he is up against physical attributes and he's up against one of the best strikers that we've got in the sport if he can get close to him though get hands on him land some of those elbows maybe even take him to the floor I mean you know of course Adesanya's you know takedown defense is improving all the time but majority of time he's functioning off the fence he likes to defend his takedowns on off the fence and i just feel like the physical presence of jared cannonier especially if he's able to land a couple of shots and hurt adesanya that's where it starts to get problematic for the champion what a fight this is pretty even as far as the statistics go strikes lander per minute um 3.84 for adesanya 3.76 for cannonier striking accuracy is almost identical um, strikes absorbed per minute of course slightly less for adesanya um takedown defense Adesanya is 77%. That might be useful in this fight, but no, obviously no takedowns attempted for him. 50% takedown accuracy for Jared, Jared Cannonier. Of course, he's not known for his takedowns, but after watching the, the, the Jan Bojavic fight, it might, be a, it might be an ace card in his back pocket for those later rounds. I'm really excited for this one. I think it could be a lot more competitive. It's really all dependent on the challenger coming in and what mindset is in, because we all know how good Adesanya is. Oh, what a fight this is going to be. All right, catch you next time.